because when Jodeci first started, I wasn't a part of Jodeci. You know, oh. I was I wasn't a part of Jodeci. I I really got in a group when we left when they left to go on a trip to New York. You know, it was like man, just coming. You know, just coming to New York. I mean, I was around the group and we was together all the time. But I just, I really wasn't, you know, I, I, I always wanted to be a solo artist. I wanted to be Bobby Brown. So I said, if I want to do music, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, so uh, Bobby Brown was everything I wanted to be as, as an artist. And uh, and I used to put on little shows for all my little girlfriends. I put on the derby hat, the, you know, the hammer pants and the patent leather shoes with the gold toes. And I was Bobby Brown for all my little girlfriends. You know, I, put, I have my two little dancers and I get my you little could. shows. Oh, I get my little shows around Charlotte. But, you know, uh, I was always with Devontae Casey and JoJo, you know what I'm saying? But I always felt like I was on my own mission, my own path. And then, uh, you know, when the group came together, we just took that ride in New York. And I was like, you know what? I might as well just be a part of this group, you know? So we worked on songs everything before I was actually in the group, too. But I was just never really, like, into the group. So that's why you had JoJo, JoJo Devontae, KC. So, you know, so that. I, I, too, as a kid, you know, Bobby Brown with Heart and Soul, you know, they, he, he was... He I was own heart. <laughs> so yeah. Well, how was the first time you did you met Bobby Brown? Because I, you know, trying to be like him back in the day. When was the first time you met him? Uh, it wasn't that good, man. You know, <laughs> <laughs> we actually became good friends. We became really good friends, yeah. and uh, we hung out a lot. We became really good friends. But the first meeting was a little bizarre, man. I gotta say, <laughs> really bizarre. <laughs> it, it's like sometimes when you meet your star, you have this whole thing about, like, wow. And then, you know, when you meet him, it's like, oh, wait a minute. You know, he, he's an amazing person, though, amazing talent, you know. Just sometimes when you meet people, sometimes I think you dream, you dream a little bit bigger than what it actually is sometimes. But, yeah. You know. But then also, I think we, we've watched the Bobby Brown movie, so we know that there was things happening at those early days compared right, to right. how he is now. Right. But, I mean, I love Bobby Brown to this day, man. Like, I still think he's one of the dopest solo artists ever. Yeah. I mean, yeah. I mean he, it, so a lane for solo artists that no other solo artist has touched. You know, yeah. I mean, uh, right up under Michael Jackson, but I think that he's one of the best R&B solo artists that I've ever witnessed. His whole style, his whole aura, and the way he approached music and songs and everything. So I don't think he's matched to this day. No, you know? no, yeah. I mean, we looked at him, we saw Michael Jackson, we saw Hammer, and we saw yeah. Bobby as entertainers, dancers, performers. You know, he couldn't be touched. Um what about New Edition? What was your take on New Edition? I like New Edition. I mean, I, I like New Edition, but New Edition was more like, you know, the the a little softer for me. I like Bobby because he was edgy. He was just, he didn't care. He was just like, and that's what I like. You know what I'm saying? I love New Edition songs. Can't stand the rain, you know what I'm saying? And, you know, even to down to cool it now, I'm his telephone, man. But it's always, Bobby always just stood out to me in that group to me. And I love BBD. I love what they did when they broke off. And, you know, I, I like Johnny Gill, you know, so it's, you know, I like no dishes. Yeah. She must be out there somewhere. I just want to love you. I just want to squeeze you. Oh, no. Oh, no. She's 
Is there a lady out there for me? I just want to 
take my time just a little bit. Sweet old girl, sweetest little girl in the whole wide world, baby. Just wanna rock with you. Just wanna rock with you all night, big, big. I'm talking about Ruby. She's my only love. Can I rock with you tonight, ladies? Uh, when we set up to New York, the, the whole thing was to go on a label with, you know, because it was Uptown MCA. So MCA had Bobby Brown, New Edition. Oh, Bobby Brown. They had God. You know, they had uh, Heavy D and the Boys. You know, they had uh, Father C. Uh, they had all the groups that we wanted to, to be around and, you know, try to get in the same kind of, you know, where they were going. You know, so we well, that was our intent on going. That's the only label we had in mind was oh, MCA Uptown. That's what I focus. It was like tunnel vision straight there. 